all right guys what is going on my name is german welcome back to the channel and if you guys are new here as always just drop your boy a like and a subscribe so mr seriously right a notorious dokkan leaker right obviously leaks have kind of gone away in uh dokkan right the, the leakers kind of stopped leaking about i want to say it's already been a year since they kind of stopped leaking stuff who was it that they leaked last i can't remember i think it might have been cooler i want to say it's it's been a while yeah since they've leaked something but uh i seriously right one of the most notorious leakers in the dokkan community uh they were kind of just trolling around a little bit here and uh <laughs> i will purposely stack all of the kale celebration dragon stones just for this so basically he confirms uh that kale is going to be the next dokkan fest here on global so to nobody's surprise right kale was probably going to be in this slot regardless Let's go ahead and just break down the entirety of the Kale celebration. Just kind of see everything that's going to happen with here. So starting with Kale's banner, by the way. <laughs> skip. That is all. Worldwide download celebration is legitimately the next banner upcoming. So, I mean, why would you summon for Kale? Uh, unless you are the biggest Universe 6 fan ever. Uh, sure, right? If Kale is your favorite character like your second favorite character ever go for it me personally right how i like to do it is i don't care what you summon on because i'm not going to tell you what to do with your stones but in my opinion i would skip this because peak is incoming legitimately in three weeks uh the worldwide download celebration is in three weeks so i would say uh you know you little handsy global players please skip kale now the banner is pretty bad to be honest <laughs> kale is very good right kale is very good her banner unit is pretty horrendous kid goku is still a very solid character the ara blue is pretty eh at this point kefla is mid slash okay sdr kefla sucks ginyu is very good now i don't know if they'll change this banner up this year i think this time slot was uh was it raditz i think this is the raditz time slot on global so i, I don't know if they'll change the banner or not but it, if this is the banner i i please please skip <laughs> I, I beg you so let's talk about kale right kale is insanely strong so talking about berserk kale first right the thing about kale is she needs a slot one character which unfortunately dokkan completely destroyed in her original celebration on jp so universe 6 transformation boost three key 170 percent to stats and she gets the 200 percent leader skill to uss and full power so all the universe 6 girls basically get a 200 percent leader skill uh gigantic impact 50 percent attack for one turn causes immense damage to the enemy attack and defense was 160 percent then she gets an additional 60 percent attack and defense and a high chance of launching an additional super when performing a super uh she reduces damage by 20 percent up to 60 within the same turn with each super attack performed then she gets an additional 160 percent attack and defense and a 70 percent chance to launch an additional super when there is another universe 6 category ally attacking in the same turn kale needs universe 6 kinda once you have this build up though right this damage reduction built up to 60 she she can very easily go in slot one it, it's not that bad kale kale's defense gets high enough to that point it's just that first couple turns she needs that um slot one character and unfortunately on her team you do have access to like agl golden frieza and stuff like that on the transformation boost team but yeah you, you kind of need something you kind of need a universe six character for her to get her she could triple super in one turn if she has the universe six character right so immediately you could even build her up like this and then she has to guarantee additional like not to guarantee additional but she has to hit potential additional as well so it'll work and then here's here's kind of the problem with kale her her transformation right super saiyan 2 kale is absolutely insane right so she transforms right can be activated on fourth turn with Khalifla on the team or can be activated after performing six or more super attacks in battle in one turn kale can quad super right you still have to do two more supers after that unless you have Khalifla on the team so the thing is, Khalifla's kind of dead right now, right? Tech Khalifla can be very good, yes, if you're fighting a proper enemy, but guess what? The one actual pure Saiyan boss you can fight in the game that's difficult cancels dodging. So you see what I'm saying? Links for Kale, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Battlefield Diva, Prepare for Battle, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power and Fierce Battle. One thing I actually should have pulled up, and I apologize for this, I, I actually should have, like... <laughs> opened up kale on dokkan tools right shout out to dokkan tools as always go to the website i this has legitimately become one of my favorite websites they haven't updated the trunk stuff though so i'm like come on man i'm, I'm trying to gas y'all 
<laughs> so this is Kale right here, right? Kale is on four 200% leader skills. Kid Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but he's not out on global quite yet. God Goku, and she's on her own, very obviously. So Peppy Giles, USS Pure Saiyan's full power transformation boost. Universe 6, Super Saiyan 2, Exploding Rage, Rapid Growth, Miraculous Awakening, Bond of Friendship, and Power Beyond. Super Saiyan. And then let's talk about Super Saiyan 2, Kale. Now, I'm, listen, you want to talk about a, a really good unit. Uh, here she is. 30% attack and defense for one turn with a resist blast, cause immense damage, 30% chance to perform a crit, 100% defense for six turns from the start of turn, 200% attack and defense at the start of turn, then she gets an additional 120% attack when performing a super. She launches two additional attacks, which each have a 30% chance of becoming a super attack, 50% chance to guard all attacks. I mean, the guard thing is kind of whack, but you know, it is what it is. She gets an additional 60% attack and defense for three turns after receiving an attack. Then she gets an additional 160% defense and guard, guaranteed guard, when there is another Universe 6 category ally attacking the same turn. Now, what I will say, <laughs> what I will say, right? Universe 6 is a really, really bad category, right? At this point, when I'm thinking about buffs for this team, the, the hit sub EZAs should have happened during the celebration, which they didn't, right? It was Champa, Imp Bodomageta, and STR Frost. They should have easy during the celebration, right? Kefla should have easy during the celebration. <laughs> you know, maybe easy. Basically, every single character on this category, apart from LRK and Khalifa, who did get their easy eight, needs an easy eight. Tech hit easy eight years ago at this point. You know, the, the free the free to play Super Saiyan two, uh, you know, or six Saiyans, they easy eight already about a year ago, two years ago, right? They could have easy eight Kefla and Vados, like really make this team solid. This Champa would have been a very good easy a because he's a support for universe six so it's like you know it's like if not then when right like they didn't they didn't easy a with kale so you know she does need that universe six ally to get the guaranteed guard but other than that kale is just ridiculously solid like she's she's a pretty good character i do have her in my top four tur's right do confess tur so even though i don't personally own kale i just know her power like that and then she gets saiyan lineage super saiyan gets added to the link set battlefield you prepare for battle warriors of universe six and tournament of power fierce battle so there you guys go that is kale's details kale is ridiculously powerful but um skip 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 and skip so then moving on right we have frost her banner unit now <laughs> frost is pretty bad being completely honest with you guys transformation boost three key 130 percent stats 30 percent attack defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy what's pretty cool is i mean frost has a unit super with frieza which is pretty cool he gets 50% attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and seals with a 50% chance to stun. So, I mean, it's cool and everything, but the thing is, you're not really running this guy with a Frieza, unless it's on Kale's team. But even then, at this point right now, Frieza is kind of a weird character, because I can't think of a top-tier Frieza apart from the Golden Friezas, right? So, we'll see. 80% um, attack and defense at the start turn is way too low. He gets an additional 160% attack and defense when performing a super transformation boost category allies get one key 30 percent attack and defense then he gets an additional attack and defense plus and crit chance plus 10 percent for all allies who are in the uss so he gives kale uh 40 attack and defense and 10 percent crit chance he launches an additional that has a 50 percent chance of becoming a super attack and attacked enemies attack minus 20 percent for two turns when your team has another transformation boost category ally attacking in the same turn then he gets an additional 160 percent attack when the target enemy is an attack down or defensive down status or he's stunned or sealed that's that's kind of the weird thing about him. He, he's a super battle role character, but he doesn't really have the stats to truly put him over the edge in the red zone, right? He he will get tapped in the red zone. So keep that in mind. If you do decide to summon for kill, pulling frost is kind of an L. And I would know because I pulled three frosts and no kill. Uh, Link skills is universe's most malevolent metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, coward, tournament of power, warriors of universe six and fierce battle. And he is only on the three categories, Transformation Boost, Universe 6, and Universe Survival Saga, only on Kale's 200% leader skill. So, yeah, Frost, he's just not that great. He doesn't really work with Kale either, right? Like, they do have Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power. I guess they work decently, but that's pretty much it. It's just the three links together, which I guess is still solid. All right, moving on to the timeline, right? Then we move on. None of the April Fool stuff is going to happen. Keep in mind that this is just meant to be like a little mini celebration until the worldwide down celebration, right? Kind of what the super trunk celebration is to JP. That's what the kale celebration is going to be to for global. So a lot of the uh April Fool stuff, don't worry about it, right? Dokkan Battlefield will probably still show up. 
then we have this uh in my opinion like and I'll, I'll be completely honest with you guys yes it's good that they easy aid but they should have easy aid better to help out kale the thing about kale and khalifla is kale herself is already kale herself is already a slot two character for the first couple turns right but then the problem is by the way excuse the dogs then the problem is uh kale and khalifla are also slot two characters on their own right so kale and khalifla are going to be easy aiming right let's go ahead and take a look join forces four key and 150 percent to stats or super agl type key four and 100 percent to stats they get 30 they stack their defense and get 30 percent attack for one turn causes colossal damage to the enemy on 12 key then on 18 key they also keep stacking defense and they lower attack so their passive skill three key and 130 percent to attack and defense they launch an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack they get an additional attack and defense plus 66 percent and launches an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance of becoming a super attack when hp is 66 percent or less they get one key up to six and a chance to evade enemy attack plus six percent up to 66 percent with each attack performed then they get 10 percent attack per unit or six join forces or pure saiyans category ally on the team then they get the guaranteed additional when there is a USS or pure Saiyan category enemy. Keep in mind that does stack. The thing is that they are very good, right? Kale and Khalifa are very good, like for long events. They're, they might actually be one of the better units too, by the way, for the Omega fight because of how fast they can stack their defenses. But the problem is Dokkan knew. Okay, I, I, I want you guys to, to really take a look at Kale and Khalifa's pre-EZA passive. They, they knew <laughs> that they could not make this unit broken again. If you guys weren't around back then, right? Back during when this unit first came out in 2019, it was ridiculously like this unit broke the game <laughs> when they first came out, right? Back in 2019, this unit overflowed key, which basically made like attacks that's just kind of look weird. They basically glitched the game twice. <laughs> so really think back. If you were playing during 2019 and you were running, like Kale and Khalifa were just overpowered, right? Because keep in mind at the time, the hardest event in the game was the legendary Goku event. So <laughs> the final boss being USS and Pure Saiyans, I mean, they, 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 cr they crushed him in two seconds. <laughs> so there you guys go. Uh, then easy in terms of EZA, like they didn't really do anything to them. They just gave them numbers. That's it. Because they couldn't, they, they, they literally, they could not give anything else. The one thing I would say they could have done to, to help Kale, because at this point, who cares if Kale and Khalifa are like ridiculously overpowered again? It should be Kale who's getting the help, and she didn't get the help that she deserved, right? Because not only did they release a, honestly, the weirdest two, uh, yellow coin LR for her celebration, which, which LR Super Boo is already out on global, so no need to worry about that there. They just didn't give this character, literally, they could have just given this character Gar for like three turns, or even Gar for the first turn just to build up Kale, and that's it. And that's literally it. Or have their first turn be like 50 percent damage reduction and that's it cut it off <laughs> literally make them invincible in slot one so kale can get her build up and then you can kind of play around so that should be what is coming let's see if there's anything else right there's gonna be a new super battle stage i'm assuming that this is gonna come out the world tournament plus the bulma event revamp i, I actually don't know if the bulma event revamp is out of global let me let me guys let me know let me know in the comments right i'm assuming this is where these easy a's are coming <laughs> but because these guys didn't come out on global did they they did not no the global skipped them for some reason oh no no they did they did they did yeah because i, I want to say they kind of like forgot about them for a second so yeah keep in mind that this celebration is basically just going to be like a little mini celebration to kind of have something going on whilst we are waiting for the worldwide down celebration so i'm assuming it's literally just going to be kale and kale and khalifa and that's it so there you guys have it though that that is the dokkan fest kale celebration what to expect from dokkan fest kale again uh i urge you guys skip kale already is not a pretty hype character in the community so honestly like the only reason i can see you something for kale is if you're like the biggest universe six fan in the world so if you guys made it to the end of the video drop your boy a like and a subscribe uh, please worldwide download celebration is in three weeks I, I i urge you guys skip we're almost to the gold zone, my friends. We are almost to the gold zone.